All right, Molly, thank you. A lawsuit is set to be filed today in the case of a 14-year-old boy from Berkeley who was killed after he fell from an Orlando amusement park ride. Fox News, Chris Renier is in West St. Louis. He's at our Powers Insurance Bureau with more details on that. Chris? A spokesperson with the Haggard Law Firm, which represents the mother of 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, tells me the suit is a wrongful death and product liability lawsuit against multiple businesses. I'm told the case is being filed in Orange County, Florida, which is where Orlando is located. Tyree attended City Garden Montessori School in St. Louis, was a lineman in the Bad Boys Youth Football Program, and had planned to play football in high school starting this fall for East St. Louis. Sampson was visiting another family over spring break when he fell off the free fall drop tower ride at Icon Park in Orlando while it was in motion. Authorities announced a week ago that Sampson was improperly secured in his harness on the ride, leading to the deadly fall of more than 100 feet back on March the 24th. A report from the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services revealed that the ride operator made manual adjustments to the ride, resulting in it being unsafe. We're told those adjustments created more harness space to allow someone of Samson's size to ride even though he weighed more than the ride's guidelines. Those adjustments were apparently made well before Tyree ever got on the ride. Here is some of what an attorney representing Tyree's mother said last week about Tyree. He was a brilliant student. He was loved and cherished by so many people. And the fact that this happened to him, I mean, it's it's such a tragedy. And hopefully we will be able to find the answers to make sure that we can make a positive change in amusement park safety in the future. Tyree's mother is set to speak for the first time since this all happened at a news conference tomorrow in downtown St. Louis. The attorney for the ride operator has said that they followed all safety measures provided by the manufacturer. Reporting in West St. Louis at our Powers Insurance Bureau, I'm Chris Fournier.